In this video we are going to be using Python code to draw ourselves this simple green triangle on the page. We will be making use of the turtle library uh, that comes with Python. So to get started on our green triangle what I want you to do is open up Python and make yourself a new blank file. Once you're in the new blank file the first thing we need to do is we need to import the turtle library. Remember the turtle library is some code that's been written by um, other programmers for us and it will save us having to do all the complex coding to get drawing on the screen. Alright so once we've imported the turtle library what we're going to do next is make a new window pop up on the screen when we run our code. So to do that we create a variable called window. All right, window equals turtle so we access this turtle library and the piece of code in the turtle library we're looking for is the screen code. Alright, let's put a bracket and bracket at the end there. Okay, and all that's going to do is make a new blank window pop up on our screen when we run the code. After that, we want to change the background color of this screen that pops up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to access the turtle library again. I'm going to put a dot and write BG color. That stands for background color and you can see that color is spelt the American way. There's no U in it like us Aussies spell it. Okay, after we write in um, turtle.bg color, we just open up some brackets, throw in some quote, quotation marks, and choose a color for your background. I'm going to choose tomato as my background color. Okay, if you don't know all the colors you can use in Python, there they are there, so feel free to pause the video and just choose any one of those colors for your background. All right, back in Python, we're going to go down to the next line. We're going to choose a fill color for our triangle that we're going to draw. So we're going to access the turtle library again. So I'll write turtle dot and fill color. Again, spelling color the American way. And just like we did above, we open up some brackets in quotation marks and we simply choose a color that we want our triangle to be. In this case, I'm going to go with a simple green. All right, after that, we need to write in turtle dot begin underscore fill and then open and close a bracket so that goes to the turtle library and accesses a piece of code called begin fill so that just says the shape that we're going to draw in a moment needs to be filled in with our fill color that we chose above all right so now that we've got the fill ready we're going to write in turtle dot pen down which means the pen's now hitting the paper don't forget a couple of brackets at the end there so the turtle pen is down and it's ready to start drawing Okay, now to draw this triangle, I'm going to use a for loop. So I'll just write it in and then I'll explain it. So I'm going to write 4i in range, then in brackets 3, do a colon, and then on the next line you can see we've indented across. We're going to write turtle.forward, so that's going to move the turtle forward 300 pixels, and then turtle.left, so this is turning the turtle. 120 degrees. Alrighty, and then the last thing we'll do is just go to the next line and we'll push enter and just backspace it so that you're no longer indented. Okay, we've jumped out of the for loop now and we'll just write turtle dot end underscore fill bracket bracket. Okay, so that stops filling in any more shapes um, with that green color. Alright, so let's explain this for loop and we'll say what's going on here. So for i in range 3, that basically says we're going to repeat the code beneath this line three times. Okay, that's where that comes from. If we want to repeat it 10 times, we just change that number to 10. Okay, but since a triangle has three sides, we're obviously just going to do it three times. And the code that we're going to repeat are the two lines that have been indented. Okay, so it says turtle.forward. So we access the turtle library and we're using a piece of code in there called forward. And what that does is moves our turtle forward a certain distance. And in brackets, we write that distance. So we're moving forward 300 pixels. Once we've moved across the screen 300 pixels, we're going to turn our turtle to the left 120 degrees. All right, and that is going to point towards the top of the triangle. Once that line of codes are on, it goes back to the start up here. Okay, and that range will drop down to 2 because we've already done it once. So it drops to 2, runs this code again. So it draws the next line and it swings around and it does it one last time. 
and then we have our three-sided triangle drawn. The very last thing I'm going to add in is just window dot exit on click bracket bracket. So that just means when we click on our window, it will exit the program. All right, so let's just save that. I'm going to press Control S for the save shortcut, and I'm just going to call it um, triangle and once we've saved it, press F5 on your keyboard to run it. It'll go up to your run module. Okay, and there's your triangle getting drawn. Pretty straightforward, that one. It would be a good idea to throw a few comments in um, to your code as well, so people can understand what's going on. So you might put a hashtag in at the top here. Just say, set up a new blank window for that top section. Um, Set the fill color for the triangle. I should probably put that one just over here because it's only the one line that does that. Um, and then basically down here is where we draw the three sides of the triangle. The final one down the bottom is exit the app or program. And the screen is clicked. And that will do us. So I'm going to save that by pressing Control S, and that will do us for this video.